How's it going everybody? Thanks for taking a couple minutes to check out my channel. It is Friday the 9th of December and if you watch all my videos you know last week I said that I would put out a video Wednesday or Thursday. Obviously I didn't. I met with my with the orthopedic surgeon on Wednesday and after my report I was and I still am. I, I was a little bit bummed out you know but I got to learn to to deal with what I got to deal with. Turns out I have chronic complete rotator cuff tear with a lot of retraction. I guess I've had this so long that my muscle has retracted so far that he said that basically he didn't pull any punches with me, which I gotta be thankful for that. He said that I'm not a very good candidate for surgery at all. He said he can't, it's not like he could guarantee me any, any long-term benefits of getting surgery. He said he, he didn't want to do anything with me until I did at least a month of physical therapy and see how that works. If I can get some, uh, some strength built up in my shoulder and stuff. He said there's no way he'll ever get me back to 100%. He said if I want the surgery, he would do it, but he said, he said I'm not a good candidate. He said it's not a good prognosis for that. I've heard lots of horror stories about the recovery process of it. If I was a really good candidate, I would go through it because I would love to get some range of motion back, but it's never going to happen for me. So I don't think I'm going to put myself through the misery of all that with with no guarantee of any success whatsoever, really. But so I got to do physical therapy, got to do icing and anti-inflammatories and got to start to learn to live with it. But he also said that I need to get back to my regular activities and like I wasn't moving my shoulder thinking that I would uh, quit causing any damage and he said that's the wrong thing to do because your joint can actually freeze so I got to get back to doing stuff I am out, I got a few canine traps out most of my traps are pulled I am going to go out Monday actually with a guy as long as if it comes to fruition and he's gonna try to help me catch a mink again we don't have a lot of mink around here or muskrats but I'm gonna try to do that come Monday and the following weekend is the opening of our bobcat and fisher season. I'm going to go out and set a few traps for that. No heavy stake pounding. I can drive stakes with my left hand pretty good now. And I'm just going to set a few traps for bobcat fisher. And then after Christmas, if I get some of the soreness out of my shoulder, I'm going to go try to set a half decent uh, cable restraint line. Most of the places where I got to pound stakes with cable restraints is nice and easy. And like I said, I can do it with my left hand pretty good. I, got, I just got to get back at it, get, get this worked out the best I can and get some strength built up in my shoulder and keep plugging along. You know, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I'm down in the dumps a little bit, but, you know, I did it to myself. So a little public service announcement for all you dudes out there. And I guess chicks, I mean, there's a couple chicks that watch this channel. Uh, if you get an injury, toughing it out is not the way to go all the time, man. Go get it checked out. I mean... I would rather get that surgery if I would have known the first day it happened. I'd have got that surgery and gotten it done with. But let's go out in the line, check a few sets. I gotta round up my dogs here. Oh, there's one. Oh, they're here still. At least I haven't caught them in a couple traps yet. We'll go out in the line from last week. I did make a couple of catches with the sets I had out, so we'll check those and we'll come back and I'll wrap things up in my shed. Come on, Karma. Let's go. Come on, girl. Let's go. Let's go, Tobes. <laughs> and Toby, my dog has just spotted this gray fox. <laughs> it's okay, Tobes. I cannot believe. Oh my goodness, you're bark. No. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, buddy. Well, I'm gonna get outside here and let he's gotta stay in or he'll go he'll charge right into that thing. You gotta stay, Tobes. I just published a video um a couple minutes ago. And this is the first canine that I've caught for quite some time. My favorite critter of all time to catch. My third gray fox of the year. He's on a drag. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's one of Hammer's drags or not. Regardless, I caught it. I came here yesterday 
and I added a little bit of actually coyote gland on here. I have a flat set out here as well. Both both of these were basically flat sets. I had like a little whatever you want to call it, a urine set here. But I've just been putting gland lore on here. I cut back on my urine and came yesterday, put a little bit of coyote gland right here. And I put a couple extra lures on my little flat set, like a compass set out here. But finally connected on another canine. I have a set clear across the field as well. I got two sets over there actually. I have two on this corner of this field and two across that field. I can pretty much see that I got nothing over there. But this is awesome. I won't be able to get that guy on a catch pull, that's for sure. So I'll probably be dispatching this one with a pellet gun and get him out of here and we'll get a better look at him. All right, so here's my remake right here. I try to blend my wax dirt in as much as possible, but it just always seemed to stand out a little bit. Just put a little bit of grass on top. And I, right there is the coyote gland I put on the back of that rock just yesterday. Don't need any more lure or anything. Got a lot of gray fox scent up here. I'm gonna cover that chain a little more, mostly for uh, humans so they don't find my trap and stuff. But a lot of gray fox scent up here. And I was talking to an, an older trapper and he had mentioned that he very rarely catches a second gray in a set where he has already caught a gray. Repeats on coyotes, repeats on reds. And I, I think about it now and I don't think I've done it very much either. Once you, I catch a gray in a set, I don't think I've caught a second gray in them. That's where I guess taking notes would help a lot. But I'm going to finish covering that up a little bit and be on my way. Well, I just picked up a gray fox, but the day would not be complete. <laughs> no, Toby. <laughs> Get out of there, buddy. Go. The day wouldn't be complete without a grinner. This is a big old guy here. Toby, gather. Go. He's pretty intrigued. What is that, Tobes? Since I'm going to the shed, I'll dispatch this guy and I'll get him skinned out for her. Get out, Tobe. Okay, I already got the grinner put up. I actually had some pretty nice fur. Hides nice and white. And I'm going to get on to my gray fox here. It turned out it was another female. All three of the grays I caught this year were females. And we'll see how the, the leather looks on this one. The fur's nice and thick on it. But we'll see if it's still blue or if it's turning white yet. Should be turning white. It's December the 2nd. All right, so here's the gray fox skinned and put up. Uh, definitely, these have been some of the fattest gray fox I've ever caught. I mean, they're like fleshing raccoons almost. But leather's nice and white on this one, especially compared to the first one. Or the first couple I've caught. I don't know if it's going to show up or not here. The blueness there. Pretty blue. But there are. <clears throat> but it's nice and white right now. It was actually fun skinning something other than possums and raccoons. Hopefully, get a couple more canines in the shed in the next week or so. I think I showed in the last video where the trap right up in that corner was something was in it and drug it up around and it was a quick pull out. But I reset the trap and now I had a dig out from the side. The trap is still bedded there. But I got my third raccoon right down in this area. Right here. Not sure how big it is, but it's definitely soaking wet. It's definitely getting harvested because it's one of the reasons I'm here. It is a smaller guy or girl, but we're gonna harvest this guy. Check these for bait. I don't even know if I'm gonna rebait today. It's a miserable day. That one over there is empty. That one still has a little bit of bait, but we're gonna get this guy dispatched and go finish checking the line. Well, it is December the 6th, and kind of the raccoon. Not too bad, I guess, but this possibly could be my last catch of the season. Who knows? My doctor appointment is tomorrow. My crazy dog is flipping out, as usual. I'm going to get this guy taken care of, and then I'm pulling some traps today just in preparation to see what happens in my appointment tomorrow. 
I know I have a torn tendon in my shoulder. I think. Anyways, that's what the MRI said. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Alrighty. Okay, so no catches on the line today. No big surprise there. I haven't been doing a lot of maintenance on my trap line, and I've been pulling a lot of sets. But I do have a little bit of extra fur in here from the last video. Uh, this is the one gray fox I caught in the... Uh, your, or actually, it was just like a, a scent post set on the rocks. This is the last raccoon I caught. It was still slightly blue. I had to put it on one of my uh, converted wire stretchers that I put a skirt board on. I have a few of those. But some of these raccoons are pretty decent looking. Unfortunately... For Eastern Raccoon, the market is not looking good. I'm not sure. I might send some of these to get tanned. I don't really know what I'm going to do with them exactly. Uh, if you watch all my videos, you know I'm going to be donating a lot of these possums. And I've got a bunch of possum skinned out here and a skunk. And probably donate some of the whatever, some of the raccoons as well. The same guy I'm donating some of the possums to. His name is Hearn on Trapper Man. I've gotten lots of tips from him on different things. If you go check him out on Trapper Man, he's got lots of tips he gives out on there. He has also sent me uh, some flagging that he made. It's black on one side and white on the other for a good contrast for bobcat flagging. So I'm going to hopefully be getting out in another week, setting some bobcat traps. If I have any success with that, I'll be posting another video before Christmas. But if I don't have any success, you'll know it and I won't post a video. So if I don't make any catches, I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year preemptively. I hope you all have a blessed day. Stay safe, everybody. And again, take care of yourself. Don't be like me. Don't be a fool like me and let things go south. All right. Take care, everybody.